Welcome to Jaya Gate ESC lecture. We are in lecture number 56 of EDC. Now we are in the third module that is nothing but special diode. Now this is the third video lecture, the final video lecture for the breakdown chapter for the breakdown chapter. After this video lecture, we'll get into the tunnel diode concept. Okay. Now in this video lecture, we are going to analyze the um, avalanche breakdown and Gina breakdown, how they gets affected due to the variation of temperature. Now let me tell you, my dear friend. it is one of the most interesting thing okay listen to this carefully listen to this listen just have your concentration for this 5 minute and you'll understand a beautiful concept beautiful concept now listen to this carefully if you vary the temperature how the variation of temperature will going to affect the avalanche breakdown how the variation of temperature will going to affect the gina breakdown so now listen to this carefully if you increase the temperature the avalanche diode ka resistance increases if you increase the temperature the resistance of avalanche diode increases that is why the, it has positive temperature coefficient but in case of gina breakdown it has a negative temperature coefficient now this is not the important point but you need to remember these two points okay the important point is here look here carefully listen to this carefully okay if you increase the temperature in case of avalanche breakdown okay in case of avalanche diode if you increase the temperature what will going to happen the lattice atom vibrational frequency and amplitude increases sir kya hai matlab iska sir look here carefully so initially what was used to happen electron got some very high kinetic energy and electron used to after getting a high kinetic energy it used to collide with this lattice atom and um, the amount of heat energy which evolved due to this collision that heat energy became responsible for the breaking of covalent bond and that breakdown will known as avalanche breakdown but here what you are what you have done what you have done you have increased the temperature now what will going to happen this atom this atom will start oscillating 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 okay now it became impossible for electron to go and collide with this atom you got the idea now in that case what you are going to do your electron will need more and more amount of kinetic energy to collide with the lattice atom so to as my lattice lattice atom is initially uh, by vibrating and oscillating with increase in temperature uh, my electron will not able to uh, my electron will not have that much amount of kinetic energy to go and collide with the, my lattice atoms so my electron will need more and more and more amount of kinetic energy Now how we are going to get more kinetic energy for your electron listen to this carefully how how we are going to if you in order to get more kinetic energy listen to this carefully in order to get more kinetic energy you must have more drift velocity in order to get most drift velocity in order to get more drift velocity you must have more effective electric field because effective electric field electric field and drift velocity are directly related to each other directly proportional to each other so in order to get high e effective electric field we know this formula v not plus v applied by w your applied voltage has to be more that means your reverse bias voltage your numerator value is has to be very 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 zyada you understand that is how you are going to get sufficient amount of kinetic energy to go and collide with this lattice amount is a very important point my dear friends listen to this carefully my dear friend that means you need a very high amount of reverse bias voltage for the breakdown to happen you need very high voltage of reverse bias voltage that means in the initial case if in the initial case my breakdown was happening here now it is going to require now it is going to require or jada you need more vr voltage you need more vr voltage you need to need more uh, avalanche breakdown voltage your avalanche breakdown voltage increases that means what you you need to increase your vr voltage so in a, in a short way in a summary the in the conclusion point i can say in order to get in order to get the avalanche breakdown with increased temperature uh, 
uh, we have already increased the temperature in the initial case now in order to get the avalanche breakdown here you need to increase your reverse bias voltage but in case of Gina breakdown voltage in case of Gina breakdown case in case of Gina diode case if you increase the temperature breakdown became much more easier breakdown became much more easier now we can achieve the breakdown voltage at very less time you understand my point hence the vr voltage decreases so if initial case if i i was getting here the breakdown vj vj breakdown now i'm going to get the breakdown here you understand here vj dash because with increase in temperature you don't need any uh, further voltage applied application because at very less voltage aapka breakdown ho jayega kyu because you have already increased the temperature but in case of avalanche breakdown you need to have bahut jyada voltage then that of standard case you understand if this is your standard case for avalanche breakdown you need to have very jada very 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 more amount of voltage for the breakdown to happen because the atoms the lattice atom will not be there at the right position but here the breakdown happens much more easier if you increase the temperature crystal clear clarity ke sath aapko samajhna hai my dear friend now let's get into our next the last point the summary of avalanche breakdown and gina breakdown now quickly complete this thing okay now breakdown is happening in case of gina breakdown is happening like this like straight like straight like instantaneously is a break ho jata hai but in case of avalanche breakdown it it happens like linearly because it is it is not sharp but it is sharp because because avalanche breakdown mein first hota hai kya how the avalanche breakdown happens in the initial case dheere dheere aapke avalanche multiplication ho ke the avalanche multiplication happens linearly that is why your graph is quite linear but in case of here or in case of gina breakdown due to strong electric field strong electric field breaks covalent bond that is why it 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 is it is it is more sharp than that of avalanche breakdown now here avalanche breakdown happens due to thermal collision but gina breakdown happens due to strong electric field now in case of avalanche breakdown as the heat involvement is there so rise of temperature at junction is there so junction ko chhune se aapko garam lagega you understand this point but no rise in temperature at this junction in case of gina breakdowns these points are extremely important points my dear friends so please be quite uh, serious for this point now listen to this fourth point positive temperature coefficient does have avalanche diode and negative temperature coefficient for gina diode now for voltage regulator which is preferable gina breakdown is preferable not avalanche diode gina gina diode is responsible not avalanche diode now pa and n regions are normally doped in case of avalanche diode but in gina diode it is heavily doped and that is how we used to get a w or the width value is very low value understand and that is how we got effective electric field is very strong okay so these are the points these are the points of avalanche breakdown and gina breakdown before we wind up there is something i'd like to share with you we, we we put on a lot of hard work and time to prepare these materials for you so that you can understand every single concept and get a good rank so my sincere request to you please 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 press the like button and do subscribe to our channel chel gate easy lecture thank you so much for watching this see you in the next lecture of tunnel diode till then bye